So we bring the raw water in. At this water treatment plant, Rodney Bouchard takes us to his first line of defense, protecting the water they send to four municipalities and to the largest concentration of greenhouses in North America. The threat? Lurking nearby in Lake Erie. It's been identified as probably the best technology for removing algae. Blue-green algae blooms specifically can clog water filters, release dangerous toxins, and in this region, they pose a risk to a multi-billion dollar agri-food industry. Phosphorus-rich and nitrogen-rich runoff is the main culprit, and climate change is likely to make things worse. Union Water Supply is preparing for just that. Just one year, so this is pretty new. This is new. But this state-of-the-art clarifying dome is one weapon in the arsenal. CBC got an exclusive look at another, and it's right on Lake Erie. A network of buoys monitoring the water quality 24-7. The sensors are strategically placed uh, so that we can capture any potential water quality issues that are coming in from all different areas. These buoys will help predict when a toxic bloom is likely. These sensors measure uh, water conditions every uh, 10 to 30 minutes. They collect the information, they send it to that other buoy, and it goes real time so people can look at it right now. What we're looking to do is... Expected to be up and running by the end of the year, the early warning system will feed data live to the water plant's control room, providing up to 12 hours advance notice, a major improvement on what is now about 30 minutes lead time. It's caught us by surprise in the past. Having this uh, early warning network would help us manage that, give us a little bit of lead time to get ready for it, and then uh, we can manage it better. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the blooms on Lake Erie have been lasting longer. One year sparked a crisis in Ohio when toxins made the tap water undrinkable for half a million people. This year, the bloom took off in June, the earliest start ever recorded. But the algae levels on the Canadian side have been manageable so far. We, we take it for granted that we have all this water. He says the Great Lakes may be the largest fresh surface water system on the planet, but they're not invulnerable. A reminder that even seemingly infinite resources must be cared for. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, on Lake Erie.